That was sick. Here, All righty, we are live chumming right now for cereal mackerel. They're eating literally right behind the boat. Let's see, let's see. Let's get them to come up, Gabe. Get them up for me. Oh, ooh, you see him flash by? Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no! I didn't let him eat it. That's really what happened. I just got, just got a little excited. I saw him eat it and I just got tight. Pull the hook out of the bait. You just ate the wrong part. Right here, right here. Go. <laughs> I'm a cane pull. Oh! Oh! <laughs> a little bit too much line to cane pull. Him. Almost had him. Right. So sick. Yeah, that was cool. If you know me, you know my motto, fish for what is biting. The yellowtail aren't up in the water right now. I'm trying not to get bit again. The yellowtail aren't up in the water right now. Cereals are harassing us. So we're gonna harass them. That's yeah. some sushi grade stuff right there. Al Macarao. Yes, sir. Oh, God. <laughs> Charge it. Show, show the camera. You guys, you guys know Joey as the mutton king. Look right here, y'all. Just asking who put the first mutton in the boat. It was in fact Gabriel. Gabriel put the first one in the boat. I am the only one mutton fishing yeah, though. <laughs> yeah, by default he wins. This thing needs to chill out before I get bit again. Yeah. I just got a lot of water in my boot. Yeehaw! Who I wears love boots anyways. Joby T fishing. You need the socks on. Oh yeah. This cycle over here is going all socks. Oh I'm on now. Wet boot and all. Ooh. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Lost my wahoo. Thoroughly enjoying this. Come here. You do not want this fight. Ooh. Yeah. Biggest one so far. Pretty guy. Paper. Baby. Just a baby. I think it's time you challenge yourself, Joe. We throw it on your ultra light. Yeah, I know. Give, give them a run for their money. That's actually a good idea. I've been thinking about it. Folks, what do you do when you catch a bunch of them on a regular tackle? You get the crappie tackle. The ultralight! Ah! <laughs> Good warm up size. On the little brim buster? On the brim buster, that's correct. See if I can't get a jumbo on it. This one's going back. Going for XL now. Gonna tail hook him so he swims away from the boat. You can, can kind of control the angle of your bait depending on where you hook him. Future Joe is gonna explain that right now. All right, hello, Future Joe here. First of all, I never mentioned the rig. This is titanium wire, about four to eight inches when you're free lining for mackerel, kingfish, or any other kind of toothy critter. The benefit of titanium, it doesn't kink. It's, I'm actually surprised it's a little bit bent right here. Maybe that's just the way I stored it, but uh, the benefit of this, you can catch you know, 100 fish on this and it won't kink and eventually break like regular piano wire will. That's why I like that, I learned that in California. Also, you can tie it. Um, it's just a little bit faster than the haywire twist. I don't mind doing haywire twists. I've done them since I was 10 years old every single day. Um, little tiny baby hook. Uh, if you think that's a small hook, you should see what uh, the guys in California use for Wahoo. It's not much bigger than this. Anyways, to get a bait to swim correctly, obviously you have your nose hook right here. This is good This is good if you're gonna bump troll a bait um, or if you're good at swimming a bait out. Uh, you can swim baits out pretty regularly and easily if you know what you're doing um, in the nose hook and you can troll it back in, like do the slow reel back in. To make it swim down in a way, uh, easiest thing to do is hook them right here. That way, you know, it's pulling away like this and it forces a fish to go down. So that's what we did for those cereals because they're a little bit under the surface as mackerel usually are. They're not usually right on top. My favorite way to do live bait for tuna requires a little bit of skill to swim the bait out, but right on the shoulder. The benefit of this is it keeps it on the surface, so up, and it's gonna hide the hook for the most part if you're tuna fishing, so they can't see the hook. Obviously not scale, but you get the idea. Why do the big ones like you so much? You're I want to get another big one. You just spit, man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> got a wahoo! Woo! I got a mutton up in the water. He's gonna break me off. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Danger zone, danger zone. <laughs> oh man, I love my ultra lake. I've got all kinds of stuff on this. Big bull reds. On uh, the American Patriot, I caught blackfin and bonitas. I've caught a bunch of peel hunters on it. Everything is fun to catch on this rod. It's a crappie rod and I've never caught a crappie on it. How about that? How about <laughs> any... that wind though? It, it's terrible. It's actually awful. It was scheduled to, uh, you know, pick up towards the end of the day, but not this much. This is absolutely terrible. Are you on the bottom right there? Yeah. Oh. Making a second run like big wahoos do. Fight of a lifetime. There he is. We got Kella. There he goes. <laughs> Every time this setup ends up on camera, I always get a bunch of people in the comments asking what this is. This is a Vanaford 500 Shimano, and the rod's like a little St. Croix. It's a 6'4 St. Croix panfish rod. But like regular crappie rods, spinning rods do great. It's the same thing. Oh, oh. Oh, no, he's in me. He is? Yeah. Oh, it's a stud. Where's the gap? Yeah. Here, I got you. Go. Go. Come here, buddy. Woo! Oh, really? By the chinny chin chin. And that was an absolute blast on light tackle. The other, on the other rod, I got this thing done in about 20 seconds. That was like a good five, six minute fight. Just awesome, perfect. This is like a perfect fishery for this little light tackle stuff. It's a perfect fishery until a big Kingfisher Oahu shows up. I'll say that, but there you go, unhooked himself. But that's a beautiful Sarah. We're actually gonna throw this big guy back because we got enough. Let him live another day. Nice, that was fun, I'm gonna do that again. Here we go, we got the, it's the next day, we got the Ciro's fired up. Look at him. <laughs> Get in the water, run him. Look at them all. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, oh. Sky for me. Woo, look at them all. Oh, 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 thinking about it. Thinking about it, Bonita. Ooh, oh, come on. Interruption, Blue Gabe. What do you got, Gabe? Red grouper, yeah! I think it's crazy that the amount of red grouper down here is so high compared to in Jacksonville and everywhere else. Lucky. Don't get them in uh, Venice either. The two places where I spend the most time is there's no red grouper, or very few. Yeah, we got the Benitas too fired up now. Son of a gun. Yellowtail, button action. Of course, I'm using this rod again. We just caught a limit of yellowtail. Or this is going to be the limit of yellowtail right here, if we can get them up. This is a better fish. I got rocked up a couple of times, but this one's coming up. What do we got? That's just a stud tail. Is that a stud tail? Stud tail. Got the fatty one pull out. Oh, it's my foul hook. Foul hooks. He's still a big one. That's a good way to end the day. Yeah, that's right. I'm so stoked to catch these things. They're back there trying to catch muttons. I never ever get to catch these, so I was very, very happy to get these on light tackle. All right, boys. Time to head to the house. Wow. The swimming pool goes all the way around the house. Does it? Yeah. They have a lazy river. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> All right. Nine inch sword knife, Cerro mackerel. About as easy as it gets for these uh, big mackerel right here. I grabbed the wrong knife. This one has not been sharpened in maybe a year. But it doesn't matter. 
that actually is going to kind of help me out on skinning it. This stuff, um, it's easy to get the filet off, but it's pretty hard to skin. It's really, 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 really thin skin. It's easy to mess up. I'm going to do a little cut right here so I can kind of hold on to this a little bit better. Hold hole through there. Boom. Just kind of wiggle it back and forth. Hold the knife stationary. A pretty good cut. Nothing left over. Kind of worked out. Remove rib cage. Remove spine and bloodline at the same time. Game warden. Yeah. <laughs> the game. The game warden. I didn't even scare you. No, oh, I mean, why would you scare me, Gabe? You're scary enough, yes, but. This is the safest place to hide from the game warden. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, gang. Very, very, very good looking meat. Gonna get this blood off of it in the sink. I think we're gonna make that into a little bit of sushi. Can't wait. Alrighty, gang, I need to talk about this house that we are in right now. This whole little neighborhood here. Cul de sac, all rentals. Gated community, plus a butt heavy, which is pretty cool for vacation because it's like you don't know the area, you don't know the house you're staying, you don't know the neighbors. This is like a gated community for rentals. And I mean, the house, the house. Oh my goodness, the house. Brand new, we might be the first people to stay in it. Um, this is actually, he said, this is gonna be one of the smaller houses that they have here for rent. And it's just beautiful, right on the water. You Boat storage, that's huge. Gated community, that's just like security and peace of mind. That's huge. The house, that's also huge. Beautiful, gigantic kitchen. I'm staying in, I'm not gonna show you my room, it's a mess. I'm gonna go in Gabe's room though. I'm gonna intrude on Gabe's privacy. I mean, beautiful master, right on the water. He has like a 500 gallon. Oh my gosh, I actually haven't been in here the whole way. He has like a 500 gallon bathtub. I don't know why, but he does. But I mean, I'll be honest, probably the nicest vacation house I've ever stayed in. And uh, shout out to Robert, AKA Buddy, for uh, letting us hang out in it. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't get better than that. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah, all these are just, I, <laughs> it legitimately doesn't get better. I think I'm gonna take a dip in the pool and uh, we are going to go to dinner. Okay, change of plan. So uh, I'm back in Jacksonville. I accidentally left the bag of Ciro in Stewart. So luckily I caught a yellowtail in this video. Here's a big giant yellowtail that I caught on four pound test uh, the day after this video was filmed. Um, and we're gonna do ceviche. I have all the ingredients laid out here. Cubed yellowtail in this bowl, I got diced tomato, diced peppers, diced avocado, a little bit of unseeded diced jalapeno, some cilantro, um, some diced red onion, and I keep the pit in there. That's a little secret. Someone taught me that if you keep the uh, pit of the avocado in there when you're storing it, the avocado won't turn brown, it'll stay green for longer. I got, I got lime and lemon juice pre-squeezed right here these fish these yellowtail these bee liners all the same kind of shape are about the easiest fish in the world to fillet. cut right there go underneath it angle the knife and you can just slide right through it easy with a sharp sword knife what i like to do with these i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to do it i usually use a skinnier blade but go right there cut with the skin on and just go underneath the skin and boom as fast as that Ooh, a little bit too sharp of a knife but no problem Angle it just like that. That's gone. For the cubing it, I like to just cut out the whole entire bloodline and the pin bones right there. Um, you know, you want to keep it. I, I just don't like bloodline, especially um, if stuff that's like, I know this isn't like raw raw because it's technically going to get cooked by the acid, but it is what it is. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut little strips. Just like this. This is in my way. I just stabbed you. I'm sorry. Jeez. Um, strips like that. And this, again, guys, works with any, you know, firm fish. You could do this with flounder, halibut, any kind of snapper. Um, you can do this with, 
you know, really whatever you like. I just like a firmer fish is better for texture. So once you have your little strips, you're gonna have, you're just gonna cut little tiny cubes. And once those cubes are in there, you're gonna add it to the mix. All right, we got all the yellow tail cubed up. I'm gonna put all the ingredients in here. A little slotted spoon, I'm gonna mix it around just a little bit, for starters. Got your lemon juice. Ooh, make a mess. Lime juice. We'll fresh squeeze some just for the camera. There's an orange right there. I don't like a ton of orange in there, but I do like it. Just a little bit more citrus and lemon and lime. You're gonna stir around for a couple minutes and then you're gonna let it chill in the refrigerator for a little bit. This is gonna be really good. I'm actually super excited to eat this. I do not make ceviche nearly enough. We're gonna give this a couple minutes in the refrigerator and then we're gonna get back to you. Okay, you can cut it, thank you. All right, about an hour later, Look how white it turned, guys. It definitely cooked thoroughly. Nice and cold. We got uh, some old Florida. Nice spice. I, I forgot what, what they call it. Yeah, nice and spice. Nice and spicy. Um, they're not really spicy chips. And then your classic Tostito Scoops. I'm very excited to eat this. Gonna go, and go ahead and get at it. Mm. I don't know why I don't make this stuff more. It's so good. Maybe a little bit heavy on the citrus in there, but it's really, really good. And now, you guys are about to meet my brother. Some of you have seen him before, but hi. we're gonna see him give it a shot. You can go on your own little plate right there. Okay, perfect. Going for the scoop, classic. The tostito scoop. What'd you think, big pimpin'? That was really good. There's yeah. anything I could eat and make. <laughs> well, there you have it. Right there, right there. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. I just started memberships. If you're interested in that, click the membership button uh, down here. But love y'all. Thanks for tagging along. See y'all next time.